Hey guys, so it is time to move on with this thing. The last thing you saw, this slab sign. The last thing you thought, saw, I think, was me actually pouring the resin from the back, Vicky and I. So um, I've done that. It's uh, now, I think, a couple days later, um, but I took the tape off the next morning and uh, pretty happy with it. So I poured, remember I poured from the back, which was that side. Um, and it went down in there and pretty much it filled up everything to the front. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm really stoked about the edge. I cannot wait to see what that edge looks like with the resin on it. So um, this, this actual slab, um, I'm moving it around. It's actually pretty dry. It doesn't feel real wet, real heavy. Um, uh, there's some of those others that are super wet compared to this one. So um, you can see there where the, um, uh, honestly, or uh, obviously I'm filming by myself, but you can see there where it kind of went down in and, uh, but that's okay. It didn't fill up, but that's kind of, I had planned it that way. So I haven't decided whether I'm going to fill those with clear on the back or, um, or I'm going to uh, fill them with red. I just, I haven't decided that yet. So I've got it pretty much sanded down. Roughly, um, the one thing that I did notice, let me see if I can point out a spot to you without having to move the camera too much. On that crack right there, if you look really, really close, it kind of bled into that light grain a little bit. I know there's a word for that white ring. I'm not a tree expert, but I'm sure you guys are probably screaming at the camera saying that's called I can't remember what the heck it's called. Anyway, so it kind of bled in there a little bit. And so when I started my sanding process, I was using uh, pretty much the orbital, uh, the orbital sander. And I was started with the 40 grit. You know me, I'm in a hurry always to sand. Sanding really ain't my big thing. I'm used to a belt sander where, uh, God, I got something hanging from my hat, where uh, it's kind of quick and over with. And uh, and on these, uh, you really can't do that, I guess. I guess that's the reason I've kind of avoided them for a while. But anyway, so I used a 40 grit. I used an 80 grit. Um, I used, uh, this is a 220 grit. But that's what I did mostly on the edge. The edge now is down to... I think that's down to 220 on the edge. I wanted it re really nice and smooth. And when that tape came off, it kind of raised the grain. It made it kind of furry again, so I had to sand it down again. Again, not my favorite thing, but so far I'm really happy with it. But what I did find is that where it kind of bled on those white areas that I just showed you, um, again, I'm not, I don't have the most patience when it comes to sanding. I pulled out the belt sander and I'm really accurate with this thing just because I've been using it for so long. So I was able to, I tried it first with the orbital sander to kind of sand out that bleeding of the red into the, uh, into the white and um, man, it was just taking forever. So I said, mm, forget this man, get out the belt sander. So what I did is literally I sanded, I tried to stay with the grain so I kind of moved it. You guys can't see this. Let me move the camera a little bit. Let me push the camera down a little bit on the table. Hopefully that is, yeah, that should do it. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so what I did was, rather than just sanding across grain, I tried to stay with the grain as I went around. I didn't want too much gouging going on, so I literally just kind of stayed with this grain going all the way around. I was able to pretty much get rid of the bleeding. There's still a couple areas, but I got a lot more sanding to do on this after I carved my sign. So I wanted to bring you guys along. I would be doing this out on the patio, and doing some sanding, but man, it is so stinking foggy outside. We had rain all night. We're supposed to have rain, more rain today, but it's super foggy outside in the patio. We don't have really good lighting on the patio, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my, probably my 40 grit belt sander, because this is the back, and sand this all down, get it down to uh, nice wood, and then I may 120 sand it with my other belt sander. That I'm not sure of yet, but I want to give you guys, uh, I, I won't do the sanding in here, because I'm trying to stay away from any sawdust creation inside, but it's so low light outside on the patio. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that off, off camera. Again, I'll probably try and stay, um, 
stay with the grain and work my way around as much as I can and then um, if I need it uh, to be smoother I'll probably go back with the orbital and then just clean it up with that uh, working from 80 up to 220 probably anyway guys just wanted to give you an update on that on the next scene um, if everything goes right on the next scene we'll get into some carving I want to get this layout done and I again I've been doing some testing I'm going to do something brand new that I've never done before in fact I've never seen anybody do it before um, but I did a test on it and I'm really happy with the way it came out so I'm excited to show you guys what I've got planned on the front so stick with me we'll be right back all right here we go so we did uh, we're doing something a little bit different this is a stencil that Vicky made um, if you remember a while back Ryan did a sign it was a bigger version of this but we really liked it so this is uh, the stencil that we're going to use this actually is one that we have on the website now um, it's I think it's gosh I can't remember it's uh, 8 by 16 is the size and it's on the website now if you guys want to do something like this we've got them on the website $25 I think anyway so that's what I'm going to do here. That's the first thing I'm going to do is get this thing laid out. I'll turn it around in a second. I just want to make sure that it's kind of centered. It's always tough when you're on an, a weird shaped piece. A little less than five, a little less than five. And over here we've got about three and a little less than three. Yeah, that looks like about right. All right, so because this thing has a little bit of a, a bend to it, a little bit of a warp going on, I'm going to go ahead and tack down the corners with, uh, with tape just to keep, them, keep those corners down so we don't get too much under spray. And then the rest of it I can just kind of, now the rest of it actually looks really good. I don't think I've even got to put, I might push down on that one a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to block off the rest of the sign because I really don't want to get any uh, black, um, black on the rest of the board, especially uh, because I've got some cracks that I don't want to make. I want to make sure I don't get any down in the cracks, cracks that uh, didn't get filled by the, by the red. All right, let's see here. I got a lot of different ones. All right, that's good. Now I'm just going to put a glove on, use something for uh, to hold that thing down. And of course, I'm not uh, prepared like I should have been. Yeah, I think I'll just use a screwdriver. I'm going to have to sacrifice a screwdriver. It'll clean off. All right, let's see. So we do have a little bit of a, a bow going on right there. So I'm gonna get this part done first. I've, I'm just using the primer. I shook it up for a minute or two. So I talked about, I'm gonna do something different on this that I've never done before. Uh, this ain't it. But uh, that'll be on the next scene. We'll actually get into cutting and I'll show you what my idea is. It actually feels like it's down pretty good. Not too much problem there. Looks like we got a pretty good line. All right, let's take it all apart, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Pretty good layout. Yeah, I like it. So these are going to be outset. Everything else is going to be inset. So on the next, we'll go uh, to the next scene and I'll show you what my idea is. 
Okay, the layout is pretty much done. So here is my idea, guys, and I'm gonna show you my test piece, and I was really happy with it. I think it's gonna come out better on here. See these lines I've drawn across here? What my idea was, and I had this idea probably six months ago, that I had a piece of that white poplar that had a crack in it, and I thought, you know, I got to thinking about pouring that crack we got pigs over here making a racket. It's, it's, it's almost feeding time and they're letting me know. Anyway, so I had this idea, this vision in my head of taking a crack and pouring it with red resin and then doing outset letters with a black background. Um, and then once I sanded it, sprayed it and sanded it off, then my vision was that it would just have regular outset letters with a red line right through it. So I played around with that idea the other day and this is how my test came out. So um, on the top one, this is actually resin. I, I actually cut a groove. I did the layout, I cut a groove. Now this one was kind of a wavy line. I think I like the straight line a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now I'm hoping that, um, I think it would have looked a little bit better, better contrast if this was a light board, like a piece of that white poplar, which is what I originally had in my mind. But I'm going to do it on here. And so what I'm going to do now is I've got the spiral upcut bit in there. I've got it set to a, only about 3 sixteenths because it doesn't have to be very deep. And I'm going to cut that straight line all the way through. And uh, then we're going we're gonna to pour it red and then we'll get into the rest of the carving after that. So, here we go. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I can do it that way. So, here's my spiral upcut bit that I've got set at 3 sixteenths. And we will see how this squirrely looking thing carves. Actually, I'm going to spin that. I would rather, I would rather pull that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it here and just come just beyond the, the F on this side. It looks like I can reach it. And of course, I've got the router backwards. Hang on. I gotta spin my router base so you guys have the better vision on your side. Oh, come on. There. Ah, all right. Here we go. Almost. Good. Yeah, let's plug her in. What the hey? Here we go, I think. Okay, now, I'm sure you are wondering, 
technically speaking, all I really had to do is cut that groove where the letter actually is. Now when I did my test piece, I tried it both ways and it really didn't seem to make a difference. Um, so I went ahead and just did the whole line. I hope I don't regret that, but I'm going to be pouring that whole thing. But in between here, now if you think about it, that's all going to be solid. This will all be background in between everything, kind of like what that red line is there. It should be background like this in between the letters. Sorry. Okay. So. It really doesn't matter. I want to, wanted to go ahead and cut that whole line the whole way. Um, but the, the only part that really matters if it's super straight is right where the letters are. Like right here, I'm off a little bit, off the line a little bit, but it really won't matter because that's all going to be clean up anyway. Anyway, all right, next scene, we're going to go inside and we're going to pour this thing. Okay, so we have our resin. I just mixed about an ounce full of resin and uh, I've actually got a couple little um, cracks here that I thought I was going to just leave the way they are but I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill those right now since I'm pouring so I am going to uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of this before I make it red and uh, and pour down I don't know if you can see that yeah I'm not uh, Vicky's not actually filming right now I'm doing it kind of myself so I'm gonna save some of uh, I think I've, I've mixed more than enough but I'm just gonna these don't uh, I don't think these go all the way through this one might but I don't think it really does I think it it stops short of going all the way through but I do have it taped on the back just in case so I figured, well, I'll just, even if it's just a preliminary pour to get some down in there since I'm pouring. But my, uh, my biggest thing is the red. That's what I want to, I'm going to save a little bit more there. So now I'm going to go ahead and color this red. I'm going to use that same color that I did before. I'm going to put a couple, <laughs> hopefully not quite as much as I did last time. I think that's less than I did last time. So let's mix that up, see how it looks. Looks pretty red. I don't want to spill it on the board. So mixes up really easy in there. There's a few little bubbles in that red that I didn't have last time I mixed this stuff, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll watch it. All right, so now I'm going to use one of my little, uh, one, one of my little hypo needles. I should actually hang, hang with me guys. I'm, I'm winging it here. What a shocker, huh? Wow, that's a lot of bubbles. That worked. Again, I probably would have saved some resin if I had um, just just cut the uh, those grooves on the letters themselves, but that's all right. You may be asking why I picked red. Well, it's, 
a family thing, so like a bloodline, I guess, you know, for, um, I think that to me, that's what it kind of represents is a family bloodline. I'm actually doing this for a friend of mine that is down in the Phoenix area. I'm hoping to take it to him when I go down there in a couple weeks. Hoping to have it all done by then. I'm going to try not to overfill it too much. Looks like it's still a little bit low here. And I've still got plenty. These uh, syringes, though, actually work are pretty darn handy for trying to be accurate where you want that stuff to go. Should kind of level itself out. Anyway, that's the idea. I'm going to keep watching this thing. That one looked like it went down quite a bit, so I'm going to keep adding to that and this over here watching for bubbles and whatnot I didn't worry about leveling this thing too much that really wasn't my uh, my issue so let me uh, move the camera up that should be just about right ah there we go all right that is it for this one guys I'm gonna um, I'm going to keep kind of babying these, fill them in, make sure the bubbles and all that. And then um, we'll be back on Wednesday. You should be seeing this on Monday. We'll be back on Wednesday and get the rest of that carving done. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, what I'll do is I'll sand off a little bit of that red if I need to, if it's up above the surface so that my router base will slide on there. Um, and then uh, we'll get the rest of this thing carved and then move on with the, the finishing beyond that. So thanks for watching, guys. I sure appreciate it. If you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. And I'm on every day on Instagram, makeawoodsign. We sure appreciate you guys watching and all of the support and all the love. Uh, give us a, a like if you would and uh, share this video if you think it would be helpful for some other people. And we will see you on Wednesday. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.